What is up all my geeks and gamers, TechGeek1019 here, coming at you with another Forge modding tutorial. Today we're going to be working on uh, adding new custom biomes, uh, but first, this is uh, 1.7.10 Forge, and there is actually one slight change to the code, uh, and it's just this, uh, in this line here, uh, instead of whatever it was before, it's Ah, it was like something Axis Align BB. Um, whatever this was after Axis Align BB uh, should be dot get bounding box now. Uh, you can check that if you were to go into. Uh, by the way, this is in your chest class, your block chest class. Uh, if you were to look in block chest and go down to that line, which was right somewhere down here. Uh, oop. Nope. Uh, what is it under? Anyway, um, on block placed by. No, no, no. Not on block placed by. It was. Oh, shoot. I lost it already. Ah, here it is. Um, function. Alright, this one. Let's find that. Uh, ch -ch -ch. nope. That one. Uh, here it is. Uh, get bounding box, and then all this stuff after you can copy this whole line and just paste it in there. Uh, phone is ringing, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all we're doing with the chest. Um, so let's get started on our biome. Um, so we're gonna create a new uh, package called com dot sapphire sapphire dot biome. Inside of this package, we're going to create a new class, and we're going to call it Biome Registry. Okay, finish. Um, okay, so, in our Biome Registry, we're going to do public static void uh, main class. Just remember, um, this is only if you are using the new setup well not new kind of new um this is only if you're using the new setup if not then you put then you skip this step and put uh the next step in your load method in your main class um so this is we're gonna make this initialize biome and register biome Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to do public static void initialize biome. And now we have that and we're going to do a public static void register biome. Okay, there we go. Um, so before this line, we're gonna first uh, name and re basically register the biome. So public static uh, biome gen base, and we're gonna name our biome biome sapphire, and that is gonna be our biome, and we want to import biome gen base. Okay, um, inside of our initialized biome, we're gonna register the biome as if like how we registered the um the items um so this is going to be biome sapphire equals new biome gen sapphire um and we need an id so we'll do like 137 or whatever dot set biome name and the name will be sapphire and that's all we're going to do for now. Okay, um, so now we're going to register our biome. Um, first, we're going to register it in the biome dictionary. So biome dictionary uh, dot register biome type. This is going to be biome sapphire. And the type is going to be, we could do um, type dot 
Let's make it a forest, okay? We're gonna make a new forest, okay? Type dot forest. Uh, then we're going to register to bio manager. Bio manager dot add spawn biome biome sapphire. There we go. Um, so obviously we're gonna have to create a biome gen sapphire, so we'll create that class and we'll finish. Um, right now we're not gonna do anything in here except for do a public biome gen sapphire and it's gonna be an integer and it's ID and it's gonna be super ID and we actually have to extend uh, biome gen base there we go and we're gonna import that okay that's all we're doing in this class for now that should get rid of the that should get rid of all the errors um okay so now we are going to create a new world type um and basically what this is is it's going to um create the layer uh used for generating the world um so we're going to create a new class and it's going to be world type sapphire okay and in our world type sapphire it's going to extend world type now if we world type why won't it import world type? Come on now. I have to public world type sapphire int par one and string name. And it's gonna super name. Why don't I keep hitting nine? I want to hit the thing. Okay. Now, I we'll, mean, yeah. Okay, so we'll import world type and we'll look in here. Don't mind my dogs in the background. Um, so this is all the world types, basically. Um, but we don't really need any of this, uh, any of this stuff because it'll do it since we extended it. There's one thing that we have to do and it is this. This last. This last line here, we're just going to copy that in um, down here. And we're going to change this to Sapphire Gen Layer Biome. Um, basically, what this is saying is it's uh, generating it. Um, if you select this world type, then it'll generate uh, this layer biome. Um, and so it'll generate the biome. Now, you guys probably have heard of the mod, um, what's, what's the word, what's the name? Um, oh, wait, what's the name? Um, Biomes of Plenty, there you go. Uh, Biomes of Plenty, it has, when you go into the thing, it does not generate it naturally in the regular world. It generates it if you select the world type biomes of plenty um that's uh just easier to do um so yeah so we're gonna create also another new class here and we're gonna finish that and this is um going to extend gen layer but um it's we're going to actually look inside of gen layer biome and we're going to copy the entire gen layer biome um and we're just going to go like this and we're going to have rename this and we're going to import this and we're going to change the package uh what's wrong and we're going to import into cache there we go um okay so basically what all this is, it's all the lists of the biomes here. Um, you know, desert biomes, warm biomes, cool biomes, icy biomes. This is all the lists. This is where you add, um, biomes to the lists. 
Um, this is where it gets, let's see, where does it do? This looks like stuff about, uh, is oceanic, um, mesa, plateaus, and there's really not that much to this class. Um, but the things we're going to be focused on is these two. And just at the end, uh, we're going to copy this. I don't know why everything's a desert biome. Um, but if we po paste this and we change this to biome regist uh, registry dot uh, biome sapphire and we'll just copy this line and put it down here just in case um, and that's all we have to do um, that's pretty much it for that class um, now we want to go back into the main registry and there's a few things we actually have to do in the main class here I, f I uh, where's biome registry I meant um main registry there we go um in the main registry we are going to just we're gonna register uh the world type also we have to do a uh, biome registry dot I spelled it wrong registry dot by uh by no not dot by m sapphire dot main registry there we go okay in the post load method we are going to uh initialize the world type so we're going to do uh world type uh sapphire equals new world type sapphire uh three comma and then the name and there you go um import world type sapphire uh what is this what are the parameters what's the the parameter one again well we can check that um world type what is these part one Uh, it looks like that is the length? No, what is that? Oh, the ID. Is it? No. Is that the ID? That might be the ID. We could just make it three. Um, alright. So, there we go. Uh, so now, actually, in order to distinguish what biome, uh, is ours, real quick, we're gonna add something onto the end of this, and it's gonna be dot set temperate rainfall and basically what this is is it sets the grass color because it sets um the uh the how much rain is there so we're gonna make it almost exactly like a rainforest um so these are the two parameters um the temperature and rainfall. I believe the first one is the temperature and the second one is the rainfall. So it sets the temperature and the rainfall and that is how it colors the grass. So if we load up our Minecraft here, uh, we're gonna have to create a new world. And in order to get our biome to work here, hold on. In order to get it to work, we're going to create a new world. We're going to go in creative. And the world type, we have a new world type, and that's generator.sapphire. So we're going to create a new world and let it build the terrain. And hopefully, we can find our biome fairly quickly. If we don't spawn it, that is. Uh, okay. So let's see if we can find one real quick. Uh, you'll know what it looks like because it'll have this really green grass like dark dark green grass um like a rainforest or like a jungle uh wood so let's see what am i in right now i'm in extreme hills plus biome that's a plains biome uh we'll also know uh if it's our biome because there'll be no uh tall grasses like this and there'll also be no um no trees or anything because we don't we haven't uh set it to spawn 
trees or grasses, so... I'm not finding one yet, but mm, there should be one around here somewhere. But it may take a while, so I'll probably pause until I get to one, and then I'll get back here. Alright guys, so I finally found one. I had to go quite a ways to find it, but uh, here it is. It looks like trees are actually spawning. As you can see, actually, uh, the biome thing, the B on the side, the left over there, like right there, um, says sapphire, because this is our sapphire biome. Uh, I guess trees are spawning here. I didn't think they would. Um, but here they are. They're, uh, they're spawning in a few places. And, uh, yeah, there you go. There's our, uh, new biome. Um, how, how long have I been doing? 20 minutes. Um, alright, guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to customize your biome, and how to, like, add trees, and what animals to spawn, and how to change your top and filler blocks. Um, but I'm gonna do that next time, because this is running a little bit long. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for watching. hope this... Helped you guys in your modding. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, for more content. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!